Hey guys, welcome back to Rhino Off-Road. And today we're gonna do a little bit different video. We are going to do installation of a signal kit on the KRX. Now, this kit from WD Electronics is supposed to be plug and play, so we will see. There's gonna be all kinds of fun stuff. Instructions, this, that. Ah, as I said before, I don't care for wiring. So let's see how easy this kit is. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm tempted to put my rock lights in as well. Because the center console has to come apart to route the wiring down through there, out back. I don't know. We will see. But, uh, should make an interesting video. Smash that subscribe and let's get after it. Okay guys, let's go by what the instructions say. Remove the hood and center dash from your KRX by removing the push pins, bolts, blah blah blah. Be careful to remove the rocker connections, yes yes. And basically remove the dash. Okay, let's do that. Okay, well, the dash in the KRX comes apart incredibly easy. We have push pins here, two inside, two in here, and here we have two Phillips screws. And that's it, this thing pops right out. Let me see if I can mount this camera while I do it. And here we go, guys. Center console's out. Wow, there is a lot of room in there. There's the bus bar you hook your power to. Very nice. All right. Next up. Okay. Step two. Mount the main control module. Position the main control module uh, inside the dash, blah, blah, blah. Don't secure. When it's time to secure, self-tapper. Okay, I have no other accessories that'll stop it. So, okay, let's put that in there. Okay, let's set to this. I need some better light in here. They want this on the flat spot. So, let's get our wires. This is a pain with one hand. There, it sits in there. They don't want us to screw it down yet. They don't want it. To, they don't want us to hook hydro up yet. And there, they don't want us to hook anything up yet. Basically, just set it in there. Okay, step three. Turn signal mounts on the steering wheel column with the included silver bracket. Voila. Let's, uh, 
untangle that. There. That is the switch uh, mounted on the steering column. Run the wire back to the main control box. Attach it to the long wire. Can do. Now, we've taken this rubber clamp off. Now there is a nub in here. I'm not sure why that's there. But we're going to try to put it on anyway and see if it's secure. So, in with the screws. Let's see. Okay, that actually is going to tighten up really well. Now, let's see where this feels comfortable. That is pretty good there. And that is where it's going to stay. There. Oh wow, that is secure. Perfect. Feels like my truck. Now, they want us to attach this to this. So, we are going to sneak underneath. Oh wow, there's actually lots of room in there to go under the column. You know, let's set you guys up about here. There, how's that? Okay, we are going to go under the steering column. And the plug is right here. Easy peasy. This goes, there's the tab. This goes like that. Couldn't be easier. Beautiful. Okay. Now, let's go see what our next step is. Okay, we're on to step four here. Install the horn and the switch. Mount the horn under the hood, existing suitable bolt. Center's good. Uh, back of the horn is pushed against something. It won't make the proper sound. This is the snail shell horn. Should be pretty loud. Hmm. We'll see. Uh, Blah, 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 snap the rocker switch into one of the cutouts, run the harness from the horn to the main control module. Well, there we go. That should be pretty easy. Okay, so I have chosen to put my horn here. I've bent the mount that came with it. It was straight, but I've bent it to fit in there like so with the trumpet pointing down 
It's not going to take on any water. So, it should work. There we go. Tucked away. It's not going to take in any rainwater or mud. There. Nice solid mount. Now, we have to run the rocker wire. Now, we have the harness for the horn. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but right in here, there is a nice gap. All we have to do is bring these two blades out, hook them onto the horn. Then, this goes to the rocker. This goes to, let's call it the brain, the computer. So, I'm going to sneak these wires out here, bring them around, and hook into here. There we go. Black and red. Now these are not marked, so I'm going to assume that it works both ways. We're going to put the ground closest to the frame just because if this thing does happen to shift and somehow hit the frame, it's not going to ground out. It's pretty solid. I don't want to tighten these too much. I get the feeling they would break. But that should be good. Now let's head inside. Okay. We have our wire here. our brain. We're going to keep it behind here. Okay. This one comes out here to the rocker. This one plugs into the brain. So let's find the corresponding plug. Oval. That would be this tiny really short guy here wow there is nothing there that is gonna be a trick I'm gonna do that with two hands and show you after there with two hands that was easy these are actually really good plugs they have rubber inserts they look they look well insulated Hopefully, I'll never have water up this high, but you just never know. Okay, on to the next step. Okay, this one. Five, run the long set of wires to the rear of the machine. Remove the center tunnel panels. Uh, remove the rear most cover first. Okay. Remove the top cover over the gear shift. Blah, blah, blah. Basically follow the factory wiring harness 
from the dash to the back. Okay, so we are going to have to take seats out and center console. Okay, hopefully this works for now. I don't know if you've ever had a KRX apart, but they come apart pretty easy. Bottom pops out. Put that somewhere safe. Couple of bolts. Seat comes out. Most of this is put together with push pins. Comes apart pretty easy. So, let's get the seat out. Okay, 14. Aha! Tricky, tricky. Center of the console. There is a screw in there, in the cup holder. Okay. Not long enough. Okay, got the center console out. This screw at the very back cup holder by the back wall is terrible. It was rusted in there pretty good. I had to use my screwdriver impact. You hit that with a hammer to get it out. So, we are going to be lubing up that screw when we put it back in. That is terrible. Anyway, okay, it seems we can get away with just taking this center out. So, knee pads have to come off. I think we should be in the clear there, we will see. Okay. Wow. 
those push pins are a pain. There has to be a special tool for the recessed ones. That's crazy. But we got them. Now we can run our cable. So the instructions say from the box out this hole here down there's the factory wiring harness follow it past the shifter around here through the firewall comes out there bring it up top to the back fender easy right okay well i'm going to get that all set up and I'll be right back. Okay. Well, we are making some progress. I got the long wire, they say, that goes to the rear, plugged into the brain, through here, down the center console, out the firewall, in here, it's hard to see because it's give me a light here there we go okay up over there follow the original harness to the tail light good enough now the next step they say is to install the plugs so, this, um, disconnect the plug, insert, that would be this guy that goes in to the original tail light, and, yeah, yeah, that's the way it goes. This goes into the tail light, and the original plug goes into here. Okay, this goes to the passenger side white wire yep okay this is pretty straightforward all right this shouldn't be too bad let's get some light on the situation now there's the factory plug how does that release Okay, pushes. It's got a latch there, you push it. Now, I don't really like how dirty that is. So, I'm going to use some Permatex dielectric grease. Let's keep this as clean as we can. Because it sees a lot of crap. There we go. Let's just mush some in there. Now, sorry if I'm screwing up the camera here, guys. There's just no good place to mount it. Okay, that is the push to release. So, that should go like so. All right. Oh, yeah. You can feel the grease mush around in there. Okay. Let's give this guy a shot. Now, original factory plug. This sucks with one hand. Wow, you know what? I'm going to put this camera down. Let's see. This thing can sit right here. There. How is that? 
Wrong way. There we go. There. That is in. Now, let's move around to the other side. Uh, get the white wire in there. Okay. I think we have a decent view here. All right. Okay, same thing as the other side. Press, release. Give it a good dose of grease. Okay, plug. Like. So, there, locked into place. Okay, more grease. Factory plug. Locked in. Okay. Now we have to run this over to the other side and join up with the other white wire. So, to follow the factory wire, that's going to be fun. I am going to run a chunk of wire through there and tape this white wire to it so I can shove it right through to the other side. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I will be back when I have everything rigged up. Okay guys, we are back. Went to have a little bit of lunch. Walk away from this for a minute. So, where we left off, we got the plug in. And I ran that white wire through there to the other side. And I'm going to show you how I did that. If you don't have one of these grabbers, you can get them from pretty much any hardware store. I'm sure you've seen them. And let's see if I can do this. You can open that end up and it grabs. I used that to grab the end of the white wire, went through here, all the way to the other side, and I grabbed the white wire and fished it up there. So everything's plugged in now. The black, red, white. Everything is tied in here, ran down here, up here, coiled up nicely, plugged in. So we are making progress. Now, next step. Skip this step if you already, okay, we don't have the six ambers. This is why I bought this kit. These are the sequential lights. They look really cool, and I didn't want to drill big holes in my body. So, what they say here, the strip is designed to fit between the headlight and the front plastic. It pinches in. The wire will be in the hood area. Tuck the LED strip into the gap. Zip tie. The wire end should be towards the inside of the machine. Easy enough. Let's give that a try. All right, let's try this. Okay. They say to start up here and slide it down. Oh wow, that 
is actually pretty easy. Okay, this hard end, I think it has to go past here. Yeah, it's going to have to because it's pushing the plastic out. Yep. So, let's try going in. Yeah, yeah, that's the easiest is slide it. to get that inside the plastic. Hmm. Ha! I did it the wrong way anyway. I got the wire on the outside. Pay attention to the instructions, boys. Yeah. Okay. So, just a tip. Get your wires fed in first. That you can see them here. That is going to make things easier. going but it's tough there oh that it actually fits pretty good Yeah, yeah, that works pretty good. I may bring the headlight out a little bit. I'm sure that'll stay in there. It's not loose, but I think, I think I'm gonna move the screws, the adjuster screws, so the headlight goes out a bit, just to pinch it a little bit more. But, yeah, that's where it goes. Better than drilling great big holes for lights. I didn't dig that. Okay, let's uh, get the other one in and start some wiring. Okay, we are making progress now. We have both of our sequential lights in. Now, they want us to run the ballast, two ballasts, from the lights into up under the hood and in to plug it into the brain. So, there we go. That's the gap they were talking about under here. We have the plug that goes to the brain, the two ballast box. Get 
let's just shove that in there a little bit. Come around here. There it is. Now let's bring this to this plug. I'm gonna have to get a headband or something. This uh, this working with one hand thing kind of sucks. There, plugged in. Woohoo! Now my wires for the sequential headlights. Now, it says right in the instructions, if you, I'm going to set this somewhere. Let's try here. Perfect. Now, in the instructions, it said, try these before you uh, permanently screw anything down. How do these go? Oh. There's a lock in. And there's a lock in. Perfect. Now, they want you to zip tie them down here, but we're not going to do that until we test that the left and right is actually on the left and right. So, we are getting close. That is it. We're here. That's an alternate mounting for the sequential lights. Dash indicators. Okay. Three-eighths holes for the dash indicators. That would be these little blue lights here. Okay, that seems simple enough. Harness goes into the brain. Nice. Okay, I am going to round up a 3 8 drill bit and figure out where I'm going to put these. Yeah, we're almost there. Get the indicator lights in, hook it up to the bus bar, and try everything. So, we're close. Okay, I have been looking around for a while, and instead of putting these indicators right in the dash, I think I'm going to put it in the center console, right above these uh, rockers. When it's in there, easy line of sight, and more importantly, if anything screws up, so easy to get at and fix. So, that is where they're going to go. I'm going to drill them out, get them installed, and we'll come back, plug things in, and we should be almost ready for a test run. Well, we are pretty much there. I mounted them right there on the console. It's up out of the way in case these wires are on backwards. Left is right and right is left. They're easy to change. It is plugged into the brain. Now, the instructions say all that's left is to uh, hook our positive and negative up to the bus bar and try it. Yes. So, I will get that hooked up. And let's do a test. Okay, here we go. I've got the bus bar hooked up. Everything should have power. The horn, uh, the horn rocker that came with the kit, it's on. So, let's get some power. Okay. And let's try left. Oh, here we go. 
Left is working, how about the back? Left is flashing. Let's see the sequential. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is fantastic. So we do have this connection is right. And our indicators are right. So off, right side, working. Right side, working. Ooh, look at that. I didn't know they were white. Wow. That is just fantastic. And it's pretty bright in here. You will see that on the road. Let me close the garage door. And let's kill the lights. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. I like this extra, it turns white just when your lights are on. Hey, I wonder, let's turn that off. Oh wow, they're both white. Did not know that. That is very cool. Left. Very, very happy with that. Looks so good. Wow. Well, that's uh that's a kit. Let's not kill the battery. Okay. Well, the hard part is done for this kit. Now, come on, there we go. Okay, guys. Wow. That, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Now we've got to just button everything down, tie up some loose wires. Yeah, fantastic. And while I went to the trouble to tear all this apart, I'm going to do my rock lights too. But in the interest of not having super long videos, I think I will make that a separate video. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. But for now guys, Rhino Off-Road, WD Electronics signal kit for the KRX. Very nice. That was, that was a good clean install. Highly recommended. We'll, uh, we'll revisit it down the road. See how longevity is. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. But if it does, I'll let you know. That is, uh, I'm happy with that. We do a lot of town driving, as you can see from the videos, to get to the trails. Just makes things easier. Well, that's part one. Thanks for watching, guys. Smash that subscribe and uh, let's get out the rock lights as soon as we can.